So we are back with another episode of Freeze Soul Truth. All right. It's okay if I call you guys Soul Family. All right. Soul Family. <laughs> okay. So uh, I was having trouble trying to decide which card to choose. So I was like, you know, we're going to make this kind of just like sporadic. And we're going to talk based off of what the spirit, what comes to us, all right? So we're back with our, you know, self-awareness cards. And we are going to pick something. And we're going to give ourselves something to really, um, you know, put into place for this week. All right? So here I go. All right? This one says, am I focused on what I am losing or gaining? Am I focused on what I am losing or gaining. And um, I want to tell you nine times out of 10, if you are focused on what you are losing, then I'm pretty sure your, your particular mood is going to be either depressed, your mood is going to be doubtful, your mood will even be kind of fearful. All right. So just know that when you are focusing all of your attention on what you are losing, you are missing a abundance of all the things that you are gaining, all right? Just because certain things may not be happening in a certain, certain time, the way you want it and the way how you imagine it to be, do not mean that is not happening. And whatever is taking place, if you can just find and see the gratitude especially with the small and the simple things, then you will find that you're going to tap into a different type of energy, like the energy of uh, just optimism, the energy of uh, enthusiasm, you know, the energy of hope, energy of, you know, mm, I'm looking for something exciting to happen. I'm, I'm open for my, my miracles. I'm open for something new and something different. All right. So you, you will find that you will relax into different energies based on what you put most of your focus. OK, so are you going through some change? Are you scared to let go of what you might lose? What if you shifted your focus from what you might lose to what you might gain? Endings are actually new beginnings. So when I see endings are actually new beginnings, that is so true. A lot of time when doors close, if it's up to you, you probably would have just kept going and using that door and kept using that outlet and kept using that tool. But it comes a time in your life where things switch up for a reason to get you out of your comfort zone, to get you into a new thinking space, to get you into a new vibe that you may have not even known that it was better for you. So if you know about faith, and if you know about imagination, and if you know about trust, trusting, then you will know that when certain things happen, it's all for your good, all right? Some people don't like it is what it is. Well, I like it, because if it happened, that means it was supposed to happen, all right? And if it didn't happen, thank goodness that it didn't happen, because it wasn't for you. It's just simple, just like that. So what is going to be our today's soul action for this one right here? Today, we want you to make a list. All right, let me pay attention. I got to make my list of all the things you will gain from the change you are going through and deepen into trust. Amazing things are coming. So I can see myself making this list, of course, because I've been having a little, <laughs> a little, <laughs> little pain in my leg, my lot of, my sciatica that I've been mentioning way too many times than I would like to mention. But I got to tell you, since I've got this, it's made me become more aware of myself, my eating habits, how my movements, it's just changed me in so many ways where I'm like, uh, you know, one time it was just like, ah, pain, <laughs> no pain <laughs> ever. <laughs> But now I understand pain is something that is necessary at times. The pain is something that really gets our attention and makes us wake up, you know, makes us be like, ooh, okay, let me just take time with this right here. Ooh, what is my purpose for doing this? You know, is it worth if this happens or if this happens? It makes you go a little bit deeper. So we said we're going to do more than one card. So uh, which which other card should we do here? Uh all right, I think this one is a good one. Am I afraid to be seen? Mm, mm, 
Am I afraid to be seen? Ah, you know, uh, let's read some more. The world doesn't want you to hold back any longer. Time to shine your unique light on the world. You were made from love, and from love you are whole. There is no more hiding. There is no more shame. There is only truth. Live naked and free. Oh, <laughs> You don't gotta tell me that. <laughs> Although, listen, listen, this don't mean expose yourself. Oh, I used to think that being naked and free means you gotta expose yourself and put yourself in situations that you may not 100% uh, thought through. It, th that's not what this means right here. This means like, yo, be seen, like see yourself. You know, this is not so much about social media, you know, even though we got some examples here. Okay, so what's gonna be the soul action? What parts of me do I hide so I can be socially accepted and fit in? Am I being authentic? Do I allow myself to be all of me? What do I need to feel so I can be safe to be seen? Journal your answers. So these are all really, really, really deep questions that is going to, yeah, you got to, if you're trying to get your journal on, here you go, okay? What parts of me do I hide so I can be socially accepted and fit in? You know, I can, uh, I will answer them right here, right now. I really do not hide. However, I do believe what's my business is my business, <laughs> okay? So sometimes people think they're hiding but not sharing all of themselves. No, man, it's, it's, it's so important to always keep a piece of yourself to yourself, all right? Even when you're having a conversation, keep a piece of yourself to yourself, all right? You can't just give everything away. You just can't give it all away, all right? Another one, am I being authentic? I'm going to have to say absolutely, all right? Because if I, I just don't like what I don't like and what I'm excited about, it just naturally makes me feel overjoyed and passionate, you know? Being authentic is about doing what feels good to you. It's not being disturbed by outside forces of what you should be doing and how you could be doing. And it's not even you psyching yourself out about the things that you feel like you should be doing right now or could be doing. No, there's a time and a place and a season for all of these things. And you got to respect your growth. You got to respect your timing. You got to respect the work that it is going to take to put in to get to where you want to go. If that's even where you belong, you know, you will know. All right. Because when if you're doing certain stuff, it should come with a certain ease. All right. Nothing should be like you're trying to fight against something and you're trying to force something. We're not saying there's not challenges. We're not saying there's not adversity at times, but things should come with ease. All right. And, and then when certain stuff come, when you know it's for you, you take it, you take the challenges with ease. All right. You take the adversity with ease because you know, you know. All right. So the next one, do I allow myself to be all of me? You know, there are times and I can remember some times where I didn't allow myself to be all of me. Why? Because I wasn't sure about certain parts. So this has a lot to do with you knowing yourself and being self-aware, you know, really knowing what do make you tick. You know, you don't want to get caught up in a space where you find yourself a react. You know, you, you, you want to really try to spend some more time with yourself, you know, even if it's just five minutes of just not thinking about doing anything. A lot of times with meditation, we think we got to focus on something. Sometimes you can just be with yourself, allow things to come, allow things to go, you know, and if you're one of those people who can't sit still and, and you, you worry that something is going to come to you and, and you need to remember it. So you hold on to it during meditation, get yourself a notebook. Get yourself something that you can put to the side, that you can write it down, and you can get back to being silent within yourself. These are all just little tips that I use. All right, so we're almost out of time. The last one, what do I need to feel so I can be safe to be seen? Um, I, I need to feel purpose. 
I need to feel like it is, this is what I need for my growth. This is what I need for my healing or else it just won't make sense, okay? You cannot pour from an empty cup. All right, so we reach, we reach our 10 minutes, Mark. If we just want to say that I love you, definitely go check us out on IG, What's Happening Live Podcast. Check us out on YouTube, What's Happening Podcast. And we just got a new Facebook, okay? What's Happening Podcast. Just check us out. If you know somebody who can really um, gain a lot from this, just go ahead and share. And we're going to put all the links at the bottom. If you want to leave a message, if you have a statement, if you have something you want us to talk about, go ahead and leave it in our messages at the link. All right. So again, this is your host free at what's happening podcast. And this is uh, day two, uh, day two uh, of freeze. So true. All right. Peace.